Hey, for the longest time I didn't want to have a Holka. Uh, it seemed to have such a cult following and, and I just don't want to be a part of any cult. But then eventually I bought one, peer pressure I guess, and I just fell in love with this plastic stupid camera. I mean, it's a medium format camera, takes 6x6 six six pictures or with an adapter, 4.5x6 pictures. It has basically two speeds, bulb, something else. It has two apertures, f8, f11. In many cameras even that doesn't work, early cameras didn't function. It has very rudimentary distance. Uh, adjustments, very bad viewfinder, has light leaks, you advance a film by observing this red window at the back. Um, it's light, durable, but it takes pictures like no other camera that I own. And that's why I, I really love this camera. You know, it has these characteristics that the lens is extremely soft at the edges and it just distorts all the edges and sides of the pitch. But the middle right center of the picture is fairly okay. It's not good but it's kind of compared to the really bad edges it's okay and that gives um, me very interesting compositional possibilities and guidelines. I mean you can you can take certain kind of pictures where you put your subject in the middle and everything else is blurry. Like it's like an extra ump for bokeh which you don't really get with this camera since the f8 is the is the uh, largest aperture you can get. You know, but I, I just love the pictures I take with this whole guy. It's easy to take with you. It's durable. You don't need to worry about it. It goes with me almost anywhere where I go. And it takes pictures like this. So I love this camera, so no wonder I got really excited when I saw this one online. It's a Holka panoramic camera, a super wide version of that plastic cult toy. You know, so I needed to get one. Um, it has a camera, some kind of a strap. It has a mask for 35 millimeter film. That should be interesting. Um, and here it is, the camera in its full glory. A plastic wide body Holga. And like with every Holga, the first thing you gotta do is take the lens cap off and throw it somewhere where you can't reach it anymore. I mean, you don't need that and if you leave it on, then you're gonna take pictures with that on. It seems to be very similar to the original hole got just stretched out. Uh, the lens seems to be exactly the same. It even says this optical lens, which is kind of funny. Same settings, sounds the same. Um, yeah, and the back looks exactly the same. It's a stretched out to, to a, uh, yeah, and, and inside it looks the same. It's just wider. <laughs> Very interesting. Uh, so what are then the differences? You know, okay, obviously it's heavier. Not much, but it is heavier, bulkier. It feels a bit strange in my hand, maybe after this. This feels actually pretty good. Uh, it has a much better viewfinder. Now this viewfinder seems to be like huge improvement to the original Holga. It has two hot shoes for flash. And I haven't tried them, but it, you know, it seems that you can use them simultaneously, which is kind of interesting. It also has a leveling eye, so you can take pictures like this and keep it strange. 
And these arrows or lines are important here because now if I shoot it like this with the leveling eye, I can sort of see the angle it takes, like how wide picture it takes. Very nice. Uh, it feels a bit awkward, like you need to put your finger really far away to the, you know, it doesn't doesn't bring the shutter to the to the back of the camera, like in most of the cameras, but you need to stretch your finger to the front of the camera to take pictures. Okay? I think I can live with it. Makes the camera much simpler, actually. So I wanted to give it a try, so of course I went on the lake because it's still boating season and I took some test pictures. I, I took two kinds of films with me. I took Ilford FP4, <laughs> I always shoot this, and then I took some Portra 160. Uh, it's a bit of a waste to use Portra for whole gas, but hey, it's the first time, so why not? And uh, this is what happened. Not really what I expected. Uh, it takes surprisingly good pictures. Uh, there's a small light leak, but I can either fix that or leave it as it is to add character. Let's see. It renders colors pretty nicely. I don't know if this is a coated lens. I, I don't know if you can coat a plastic lens. But nice colors. It was surprisingly nice to use. I mean, stretching your finger, it's a firm grip. Um, I don't mind at all. Uh, the viewfinder, it is really good. I like that a lot. Um, so, all in all, very nice experience, surprisingly sharp and crisp pictures. But then the jury is still out whether this is what I wanted and do I really like this camera. Like, I wouldn't buy a Holga to get a perfect camera. I buy a Holga to get something unique, something different. Like my original Holga creates the pictures with me. I mean, it leaves its mark to those pictures, it forces me to compose the pictures in a certain way, and it has those limitations that adds to my photography. I'm not sure if this one has. It may be too good to be a bad camera, and not good enough to be a really good camera. I don't know. So, I wonder why that is. So, I thought in initially that it not needs to be the same lens. I mean, this is now all speculation, but it looks the same. It has the same markings from outside, it looks the same. Other than of course, they needed to do something for the structure of it. For it to render the entire larger space, they needed to pull it out further away from the film plane. And now it focuses on the film from much further distance, so they have changed the lens structure somehow. Otherwise it would focus somewhere here in the middle, like the original Hulk. And I believe that as they've done it, they somehow changed the lens. And I'm not sure if I like that. 
I was expecting more crazy outcome. I was expecting more distortion. I was expecting more troubles. I mean, that's why I buy a Holger. For somebody else, this may be a perfect thing. Even if it's still a Holger lens, um, there's so much film surface that you can actually get decent pictures with this plastic camera. But for me, it may be that this whole guy is a little bit too good. <laughs> I'll give it a spin. I'll shoot a few more rolls and I'll let you know if I keep on using it. I don't know yet. <laughs> See you later.